two two prone question for yeah. for couples. Uh, <laughs> sleeping in the same oh. bed dangerous or ske- and also is scheduling sex good or bad? Well, you know what? I um one of my relationships we scheduled sex. We had everything scheduled though. Like our whole entire life was scheduled from like wake up to go to sleep. And literally we had sex at 9 p.m. after we'd had four drinks. <laughs> you even had the drinks down. We we watch the news and then we drink and then we have sex and then we'd go outside and have sit by the fire. And you know what? It never got old. I mean, we definitely like switch things up a lot because I mean when you're scheduled like that you're like I don't know I started getting stuff like outfits and stuff like that and like exploring with food so this is gonna be messy I'm super excited I don't know. I I feel like scheduled sex is okay, but then I kind of might like sleeping in different beds. That might actually be kind of fun. Not all the time, but sometimes. Well, I think uh, with coordination, like separate beds, but we have scheduled sex, right? Like that would seem to make sense because then it. I don't know. the The spontaneity doesn't have to. Or maybe he comes in and like scares you in the in the middle of the night and like has sex with you and goes back to his bed. <laughs> Should that be scheduled or that's <laughs> <laughs> that, that's on his schedule, not on hers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's uh I I I hate scheduling anything in life. Uh I I my weekends are like I don't just Let's figure it out as we go. I don't know what I'm going to feel like when I wake up. But as a divorcee, I kind of wish scheduled sex were a thing because then it's like, uh, it's on the schedule. It's, you know. You know, factually, you're going to get laid that day. (laughs) Yeah, you don't, not, I think I'm a lazy guy, but I think I'd actually try harder during the day to be like, I know this is happening tonight, so I'm going to. I'm going to put my back force forward, all, foot forward all day, as opposed to like, eh, maybe I'll maybe I'll be horny after a couple drinks at 1030 and try to <laughs> stick my bone in your back and see if things. <laughs> well, if she's four drinks into it, she'll be all good. <laughs> uh, yeah, <well>, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> if not, maybe she won't remember. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? What what I do want to normalize, and this this is uh, totally going to disgust people. Probably, I don't know. What I do want to normalize is when you drunkenly hook up with someone. Yeah. Uh, have sex in the morning, like fool yeah. around the night before. But you know, the guy might not be at his best performance. Uh, I don't know. That happened to me just recently, and then the guy wouldn't leave. Oh. So I think that invites them to just stay. I mean, he didn't leave for a couple of days. I ended up having to be like a complete bitch. I was so... Oh, my God. <laughs> I know. I was like... I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Then you're dedicated to at least a day with oh, them. That's terrible. <laughs> I thought like just bang it out. Maybe take a shower if you need to. No, no. Because now you feel like that might be rude. Now, now you're sober. Yeah, but your dick works a lot better when you're sober. I'm going to die. What is it? I think it moved. Oh, my God. I think it moved. That, that's a chance for you to enter your, your comedy in there, you know? Just be like, yeah, maybe, a, maybe it's better this morning. And then I'm going to head out. If you say that, you might get late in the morning. And then I'm going to head out. Ah, uh, you got to add that in there. Yes. <laughs> oh, and, and there's there's a a big difference between uh what i well you you don't need to be a sports fan to get the reference of home games and road games <laughs> i think that's pretty clear i've always yeah. said road games are so much better because 
you can leave whenever you want. Right. <laughs> Home games have their slight advantages. Like, you know, if you're thirsty, where to get the water and, yeah. you know, you don't have you to have set to off an alarm when you leave in the middle. <laughs> 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 yeah, those are advantages, for sure. But, yeah, no, the, the worst experience ever was I, I had a road game, and this was, like, right before Uber, and I, I'm like, can you drive me home? <laughs> My phone was dead, so I couldn't call oh, a friend. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awkward. I was 20 Then they know where you live. Home. How many miles? like 20 so it was like if it was within five i would just walk but i'm like that's 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 too much i'm not gonna make it <laughs> there's cabs well my phone was dead so it was like oh, oh yeah okay. i might be able to find some place to charge my phone but yeah this was yeah, dying hurt. over <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i would probably die over that <laughs> yeah in hindsight it, it may have. <laughs> <laughs> she she pulled up to my house and it uh at the time was the nicest house on the block um because i bought it at the bottom of the market and she's like do you own or rent i'm like oh i stay here That's for free weird. i'm basically squatting <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty smart though <laughs> and then she's probably like, was, okay bye <laughs> i was proud of myself i'm like yeah i'm basically homeless this is just <laughs> I have a key. <laughs> my mom's house. <laughs> I probably should have just gone with that. Just, yeah, this is where my parents live. You want to come meet them? <laughs> no. <laughs> that could have gone really bad. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, for sure. She would have said yes. I don't think she would have said yes. I was not very good the night before. I was very <laughs> drunk. Was that a better the morning of experience? Uh, it probably would have been if I'd asked for it. But instead, I went for the ride. <laughs> Her car was more valuable than her vagina at the time. <laughs> and 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 this is why in in the bedroom I usually am more just trying to crack jokes. I, I think I think that might be your thing. I think it might work for you. You know, everyone has their things. Yeah, I I, I just need to find the right one where it's like they're not like offended or like offended. put off or like what the fuck is he doing yeah they're well, like gonna go with it yeah it's not sexy it's like just you just need to find a, a semi-awkward weird quirky girl <laughs> she gets it <laughs> you know she's like yes. i get it i get where this is coming from i'm weird too and then she might like come up with a joke herself yes Hopefully it's not like a small dick joke. I don't think that would go over. <laughs> Let me make the small dick jokes. 